All right, and recording started as well. So, yeah. Zombie wondering about to remember at the end of last stream. Uh, yeah. That thing wandered into the one safe room that keeps us away from um, Mr. X. So, did not want to be AFK and die as the stream is starting. So, let's load that save right up. Nothing changed. So, we got... Oh, okay, I guess when it uh, reloads the game, it kind of moves the position of the zombie about, okay? So, let's see what we have here. Got quite a bit of healing. Actually, you know what? I kind of forgot. Well, I didn't know starters. And... I forgot after my uh, easy playthrough that you can combine all three herbs and it gives you a uh, shield boost uh, damage damage boost damage reduction damage shield it makes you re more resilient to damage that way if you pop that you get a little shield icon uh, the corner of your screen, and it tells you, hey, you can take a little bit more hits. Oh. Got the lightning hawk right here, so take out the long barrel. Don't remember if I had done this. That thing looks sexy. Well, that thing is fucking big. Hold on. I can't uncombine it? Oh, hold on. Maybe I have to do it in my own inventory. There you go. Remove parts. What does that do again? Custom part for the Lightning Hawk. This barrel reduces the recoil and imparts extra speed to bullets. What's up, uh, the realist? Or 20? Puff Puff Pass? Custom part. It increases damage. Well, how strong is the Lightning Hawk on its own? The 9mm is the 9mm. Um, the Albert model for the Samurai Edge, I think these three guns right here are only for the uh, Deluxe Edition download. Or the uh, Deluxe Edition version of the game. Uh, Albert model. I, that one says it does uh, customize for robust performance. I think that boosts damage compared to the other versions. It didn't seem like it did much. Um... The Matilda doesn't seem like it does much. It's another 9mm. The M19 uses 45 caliber. Uh, it's supposed to be stronger. I didn't really notice much of a difference. And uh, then we have the Lightning Hawk, which it's a, it's a 50 caliber. 50 AE. Um, these are supposed to be some big ass bullets. Uh, I don't know if I should just take the handgun. One of the nine or millimeters or 45s and the shotgun or if i should go with the lightning hawk and the shotgun uh, i guess because we can make the shotgun i will take the shotgun and then we will try out the lightning hawk i want to see how strong it is without this because i don't have much inventory space right now so i don't want to run around with stuff that i don't take up inventory space that i need at the moment I oh, do this thing looks fucking beefy even when you're reloading it, it's loud as shit. Alright. Anyways, let's continue on. We know we're gonna be fighting Bert in here. Actually, yeah, I know I'm fighting Bert. Let me go back up and get my uh handgun out. Use up my lightning hawk again. Take these up. We're gonna find uh, ammo for these two guys right here. I'm gonna find two, uh, ammo down there, so I'll just roll with this. And I have the shotgun. Uh, we could also, we're also gonna be finding grenades as well as uh, flashbangs. Not that the flashbang does damage, but it does let us 
gives us some breathing room if we need it. And the lightning hawk parts were from down here. All right, let me just double check. There was also a grenade. Pretty sure I already picked it up. Yeah, okay. That door is locked, obviously. Uh, we'll get to that one in the... Um, once we get into the sewers. What the? Again, if you played with uh, A Story, uh, you find Sherry here. In, in B Story, since whoever picked up Sherry's already gone by, you are going to get to fight Birkin right off the bat. So here's this beauty of a man. You know, in this stage, it's like uh, Birkin still has some cognizance, so still retains his, his knowledge of who he is and the people around him. You would really think that, you know, he would recognize that you're not anybody from Umbrella, you're not, you know, quote unquote, an enemy. I mean, at least, I guess, in the A story, he should realize that. I guess on B story he just sees you coming up, so. Right. We're out of that already. I really don't want to use my shotgun yet if I can help it. But we're gonna have one here. I only have two shots left with this. Yeah, give him the good old run around. I should not have gotten grabbed there. That was stupid. Okay, I'm gonna reload real quick. That was a little dumb. That was a, a little dumb. In And I'll just bother mixing this. I'm not taking those with me. I'll just bother mixing them. I could just take one of the green, blue, red herb mix. You know, have that damage shield boost. But uh, I don't think I really need it. Uh, this is a relatively easy fight. I really shouldn't be getting hit to begin with. That was just me turning around and then taking a shot way too early. What the? enough time to kind of let us pick up the stuff over here we have a bit of, a bit oh 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 Got it. ah that was dumb okay well whatever i'll roll with this one i don't want to reload every two seconds just because i messed up good thing we just mixed that huh all right well, again that's a bit of a waste
help you. I can't do that if you're trying to kill me, bro. Like, you gotta let me help you, man. I'd be willing to, like, you know, take you to a clinic or something, but... You're kind of just sitting there trying to... Trying to kill me, so I don't know if I want to do just that. No choice. Gotta take it down. Come on. I don't remember how many times I got to do this. Oh, that says so. Oh shit. Use up all my shotgun ammo. It's like the one gun that actually has a decent amount of. Uh, Damn. Oh, where is it? About over here. Pick this up. So at this point, I don't even think I want to carry the nine mm anymore because I keep finding a lot of forty-five, but like not a lot of nine mm I know I can make the nine mm but. gives us a second chance maybe this time we won't get hit at all i'm not even gonna bother grabbing matilda until i find more nine millimeter uh, you know what i might actually keep the lightning hawk and see how much damage it actually does in this fight and since i don't have much stuff to actually Oh yeah, you can't do quick, uh, quick reload. So yeah. Uh, oh no, wait! I already have one inventory. Haha. <laughs> yeah, we'll take out the M19. We we keep finding a lot of 45, but again, we're not finding a whole lot of um, nine millimeter. So. And, you know, for boss fights and stuff, we'll keep the extra slot, because generally there's not, like, when... During boss fights, you're not going around picking up a bunch of key items and stuff. You're picking up ammo, picking up grenades, that kind of stuff, so... Try it out. It takes a second for it to actually... Focus and see something. Shotgun just doesn't. Handgun, alright. Yeah, that's quick. Uh, this one takes a second. Uh, let's see what we can do. The hang of ammo is nifty to just kind of navigate through zombies and stuff, right? And we really want to keep the shotgun for liquors, stronger enemies. Uh, for boss fights, I guess using something like the lightning horn is fine. Let's move work on this thing. Let's see. Oh, come on. Okay. There's two shots already. Oh! <laughs> 
thing is strong. Bitch. There's a few hanging ammo that we can find around here, but damn it, man! Somebody's watching. I got caught right at the last bit of the fight. That sucks. Anyways, let's pick up all the stuff here. There. Hey, that's what happens when you play in hardcore. Find less ammo, you get hurt more, etc. etc. Don't really need to pop the herb yet. Now, we are uh, done with the fight. There is just one more corner from right. Oh, here, right here. I don't really need to mix it, right? I'm already at fine, or I mean caution, and using that brings me to fine again, so. And, yeah, that's it. That's it, man. Six shots of the Lightning Hawk. All 24 shots, uh, uh, shells on my shotgun. And, yeah. 
You know, the times I was shooting him when his eyeball wasn't popping out, I never bothered to try and see if maybe that was like uh, timed, so you just kind of wait it out and then his eyeball pops like out, or if you actually have to damage him like I was doing, shoot him a couple times, and then the G-Virus reacts and the eyeball pops out. I should have kind of tried to wait it out, it would have saved me bit of ammo because I wasted like what four six shotgun shells uh trying to get him at that stage well oh there's killing me today readjust here secret technique cannoli reseeding technique alright Obviously, if you know anything about Resident Evil, with uh, Claire, I think regardless of the playthrough. Yeah, I think actually, I'll take that back, what I said earlier, depending on the AB playthrough. Doesn't matter. Uh, Claire gets to deal with Sherry. Leon gets to deal with Ada. So, when he said I guess somebody's watching, that would be uh, Ada. That. Let, let's do the little mixing game right now. Find it, store, take out, take out, find, store, the first aid spray, we have one left. Got a bunch of green herbs. Let's use that, store that, and store that for now. This will keep. Store the lightning hawk for now. Keep the shotgun because we're bound to find ammo or at least be able to make some. I don't have any gunpowder. No. Alright. Use up that. We'll take this ink ribbon and we will do a save. Yeah. And you know what? I'll do a different save. Alrighty. Let's move on here. So, if I'm not wrong, I think you have to... I don't remember what you have to do to unlock the other game modes. But, I don't remember if it's just beating the game. Obviously, well, I mean, just beating the game wasn't it. I didn't get it with the... Uh, Claire. After beating the game, the player, nothing happened. Uh, with the. Uh, I hope I don't have to do this shit. I mean, both doors are locked, so. Okay. And with the. Uh, I don't know, maybe you have to beat the game with uh, both characters? And then it will. And then it'll unlock the other game mode. I've also read there's some you have to beat the game in under four hours. Um, we're at pretty much the two hour mark, so I don't think I'm gonna be able to do that. Damn. Need a key card. Are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me right now? You gotta be kidding me. I'm out of shotgun ammo, I gotta deal with this. Oh, this is probably where Ada comes in. Huh? Hey! Who is that? Stay sharp! Lower it. FBI. And not quite FBI, huh? Sorry. Thank you. For your help. I guess those are supposed to be blood stains, but like on this Surprise on this me. left side? Almost looks like it's a scar or FBI, something. Huh? What's going on here? Sorry. That information's classified. Where are you going? Do yourself a favor. 
Stop asking questions and get the hell out of here. That's a smart woman. Sound advice, Leon. <clears throat> hey! I'm not done talking to you! Oh no. She can teleport. Hey, zombie. Zombie. It's all the same shit. So the other door not open, but where does this go? Yeah. Yes, that's the jail cell, I guess. Door's locked. That's the jail cell. Uh I have a bad feeling about this one, boys. They're all locked. <laughs> I don't even know if they have any items inside. Look like that one does. Doesn't look like this one does. I don't see anything there. So unless, like, you're able to search, like, inside of the toilet or something. Doesn't look like any of these have anything. I'm thinking it's gonna fucking open up. There we got something. Yeah, I don't wanna... That doesn't look safe. I feel like if I pull this, it's gonna fucking... That's the power, right? It's gonna restore power. It's gonna open up the cells. I don't see anything in there. Zombie. Oh, hey. Who are you? Hello? Hey. I don't believe it. A real human. <laughs> Hello, human. You've been here long? <laughs> long enough. <laughs> are we the last ones alive? No. No, there's a few of us. Huh. That's good news, I guess. Yeah. That's, of course, Iron sent you. Irons? You mean Chief Irons? Is he still around? Who cares? Hopefully he's somebody's dinner by now. Yeah, that guy's a bit of an asshole. He's the bastard that locked me in here. I'm sure he had a good reason. He did. <laughs> I was about to blow the whistle on his dirty ass. I'd have done the same thing to him, I guess. Is he a reporter? Hey, I'll make you a deal. Unlock this cell and I'll give you this. There's no other way out of that parking garage. Believe me. Sorry, I can't do that. I have to talk to the chief first. Look, we're both prisoners in this station. So we Come on. Play nice and help each other out. Shit, it's coming. What? What's coming? Come on. Come on, don't be an asshole. Hey, you need this. Just give me the fuck Mr. out of X, here. Mister X, are you? Of course. Ooh. Shit. Oh my god. Uh, I'm gonna have to deal with this fucking Who guy. Is that? It's just me. So we can put that thing away. I, I don't even know what happened. It just happened so quick. I Damn. told you to get out of here. Well, Aid, I can't fucking get out of here without him. that. He was an informant. Had information of use to my investigation. So what he said was true? Hey, you can't keep walking away from me. I don't even know your name. I'm Leon Kennedy. Find a way out, Leon. Before it's too late. Then well, we'll talk. It, I, Name's Ada. Bah, I need to get in that jail cell. I need to get that uh, that key, you know. It's the only way I'm gonna be able to make it I out. I guess the deal's on. So this is the handle. And we 
we're gonna need electronic parts. So instead of using the electronic parts to get... Instead of using the electronic parts to uh, open up the... Um, the... What would you call it? It's not a jail cell, but like I guess that little private study looking thing instead of the collections room. Chief Iron's office with Claire. Now we're gonna have to do the same thing, but down here. So, J memo Jill power pa panel. The power panel is out. Can the person in charge of it please take care of it ASAP? I assume everyone knows, but since the Jill's power panel is old as hell, we're gonna need these custom power panel parts no one makes anymore. There should be a few in the generator room. Addendum. I got word that there's only one of those power panel parts in the generator room. The guy there that's here to fix the belt in the clock tower should have another, so someone swipe. I mean, ask him nicely for it, please. <laughs> oh, if I can steal it. Okay. Oh. I need to pop that open. Hopefully these jail cells are all closed still, yes? don't want to hit that power switch until I have actually gotten the power panel part and then for shits and giggles I'll flip. The shitty part here that I have no shotgun ammo and if memory serves right should be lifters in here. Maybe not. I mean, at least in the playthrough we cleared that we had, there were. The zombies that are down, they're still down there. Equipment disposal notice. Item to be disposed. Key to patrol car 7439. Details bank key, no longer usable. Okay. Same thing as in other playthrough. Get the box. Pop open the box. And we get the bank key. Examine it. Car key. Okay. And then we get the Mr. Raccoon guy thing. And we don't have the key to that yet. So we get shotgun shells over there. Hopefully these guys don't get up. The other playthrough they didn't. Looks like they're not gonna be a pain in gas now either. I'm hoping two shotgun blasts take care of liquors, if that's what's gonna be on the other side. Oh, way, okay. Nah, it's gonna be the fucking dogs. Yeah, it's gonna be the dogs. Because in the other playthrough, the liquors were... were killing the dogs, right? They were... Yeah, no. hopefully it's two dogs. Pick up this green herb, right? Or blue herb. Actually, you know what? Let me go see what's in the trunk of the car. I hope it's not. It should not be the fucking same handgun that we can find with Claire. I hope not. That would be kind of shitty. Ooh, the shotgun. Not for Matilda. So, is Matilda actually good? I mean, the, the game... So with Claire, that was kind of like... Even the other handgun that you find is a 9mm. The one that's in the trunk of that car. So all you have is 9mm handguns. But with Leon, you have a 9mm. And you have a 45mm. As well as a 50. And, um... Yeah. There's not, a. Um, a lot of handguns, but... Doggy doggy? <sighs> Only two? Let's 
so they are dead. Now, what I'm going to assume, maybe I could have saved ammo. Um, what could, what, what like, I don't get get back up. I thought I heard some. Yeah, what likely might have happened is that. Uh, yeah, powder. Okay, so what likely might have happened uh, is that once you go in there and you get the diamond key from the morgue area over here, you they might actually break out as you run through, which means I likely could have just ran right by them. Um, but we don't know that. So I'm not taking a chance. You, I can now open you up with this. But where does that lead? It's upstairs. What? The generator room. Okay. So we're gonna be able to get through, uh, more parts, it seems. I'm gonna take care of him. Okay, that explains where it is. Here. Uh, so let me just do this. I don't have to worry about dodging him on my way out. Red herb. We'll pick that up. Then we'll combine it with the blue herb and we'll be able to also combine it with. One of the green herbs that we have in our safe box. <laughs> Roads are just on the same one. Don't remember if there's anything in these other ones. So I'm gonna check them all. Because, you know, being that it's a different playthrough, maybe they have something else. But for all I know. Yeah, we're gonna put you back in. For all I know. Because I think that one has a flashbang, but I don't really care. Try my luck with a flat just for a flashbang. So we know Mr. T is still wondering about. Um, hopefully, we won't actually have to deal with them. That's another jump scare because I don't think you can actually pull that drawer all the way out. Okay. So I'm hoping the dogs are done and dead. dead. Um, that's on the other door. Oh, shit. Okay, well, that was a waste. That was a waste. So, if you remember in the Claire playthrough, um, he just lays there until you grab the key. But... I thought, <laughs> look, he's fucking bouncing up and down. I thought he was gonna get back up. In the other playthrough, though. Okay, yeah, in the other playthrough, he got back up only when you picked up the key. In this one, obviously. What if I told you that I don't trust this fucking room? Okay, so... What did the gunpowder thing say? Chug and shells. Gunpowder and high gun... Or gunpowder. Okay. I agree. Gunpowder, let's see. Is there anything different? Okay, so... Magam was too high grade. I, I don't know if I want to save it for the Lightning Hog to make the mag ammo. Uh, we'll just make some shotgun ammo. I know that one is always useful. I don't know what's going to be back there. Know that there's going to be a part in here. Hopefully, no dog or liquor. 
or anything like that. Although this is a big little wraparound for it to be nothing. Maybe it's like a save room? Unlikely. This. Keep hearing zombies growl. That might be for this door, I guess. Yeah, it makes sense. Where it's at. That was easy. Yeah, of course. thing I made shotgun ammo. Nerve down there, okay. Did sound like that was the only dog, maybe? Okay. So, one shot takes care of the um, dogs, but I missed three of them. I should have shot him while he was on the grate. I thought he was just gonna crawl up and then just pop right in front of me. That was not the case. Okay. So, one shot of the shotgun, three of the handgun. Or four, if you're unlucky like me. I guess with the other one I got headshots. Don't tell me that the ammo I wasted here on these dogs actually was... was a waste. I'm hoping... Come on! I mean, I guess... It's... like, they move fast. Okay, they're actually dead. They move fast, but it, it's better to deal with these, I guess, than to deal with zombies. Because at least these go down in three to four shots. Zombies just fucking soak up everything. Grab everything we need out of here. Make it quick. That's all there was in there, I'm pretty sure. Yep. Oh, we don't need to be. Okay, yep, nothing over there. What's in there? Probably leading back to the station, right? Ah, man, that means we're gonna have to deal with fucking Mr. X again. Oh, okay, so this is right back here where our safety area is. Okay. Your place. So. Let's store you until we actually go back to the station. Let me take on Matilda real quick. That takes a lot of fucking room. So, store you. Roll of film. Well, we can store that for now, uh, since we can just grab it once we go to the room that has um, the the developing the film development room, film developing room, whatever, what have you. Um, so we can just do it then, since it has a, uh, that's pretty quick. What does this actually do? Non-standard issue gun with problems that make it impractical for the general public. You don't say. I guess, I, 
Okay, so you can't take the other part off. I guess you can only take, or they only let you take off parts that actually increase the size of the gun. That way, uh, if you need more room, you actually have it. So, what does this do? Allows the gun to fire three rounds per trigger. Okay, so that's kind of cool. Kind of turns it into a burst. Uh, it's a little burst mode. Not sure how a stock grants it burst, but anyways, we'll put you back. You. Yeah. Don't want to say it quite yet, although we have done quite a bit of progress, but nothing we can't. Okay. Oh, come on, man. You know what, Matilda? I'm gonna come in handy right now. Fuck, oh, yeah, damn, dude. No more ammo of the lightning hawk. Kinda sucks. So let's see if we can kill you. Are you kidding me? Fuck, now I wish I hadn't used that stupid grenade uh, against that zombie. I guess I can just pop them. Pop, pops. Ooh, I can't talk sometimes. I guess I should have just mix, uh, pop the uh, mixed herb and uh, kind of roll with that. Kind of take hits. Maybe it might be worth it. Gotta use a hand and ammo. Because I'm going to assume that the dog, just like when you meet the liquors, they're then loose in the uh, police station. I'm assuming the same thing goes for the dogs. But let me check out the map here. So, with the crank that we got, we're going to be able to open up a few rooms. I still think we can't access the records room because it uses a heart key and a club key, if I'm not wrong. Or maybe it is a diamond key. Don't quite remember. You know that that there I I do know there is a diamond. So we have the first aid here. Obviously, we have to go to the clock tower, which means we're gonna have to go into the library. We'll now be able to go into the linen room, which I think the little storage box in there, if it is in there and it's not something else in this playthrough, does give us more uh, storage room. More inventory room, to be exact. So from here, going to the third floor. Good. Oh no, we still have to find the crank, huh? That's blocked. We can now. We should be able to open this area up. Yeah. Oh. Let's see, what should I do here? Jesus. Take the heads or... Son of a bitch. <laughs> that, that was just a big waste of ammo. Oh, that was just a waste. Um, let me store that. The one room that I thought was safe, turns out, surprise, it isn't. I see the little shield over there. Are you fucking kidding me? Okay, let's see real quick. Go through here. So, unless, like, that area, more zombies make sense. But. So, hopefully Mr. T is still downstairs. Okay, so let's now pick this up. Okay, so let's see. Let's... So, this should be safe. Oh, come on. So, let's draw her out. Going there. Okay. 
Come on, lady. If that was enough. Alright, so there's no zombie in. Oh, there is one, but whatever. It's kind of by the door. Look at that. He's still alive. That was the zombie that we blasted, uh, if you guys remember, that we blasted twice. Ah, yeah, fucking half of its torso is almost gone. We blasted twice with the shotgun, and then we stuck a grenade in its mouth. And yeah, it's like that. Oh, no, 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 no. That's the liquor that was on the other side. Okay. So we might still be able to make it over here. Can't really follow through. Okay, yeah, so that was a bit of a waste of time. I did remember correctly, it does take the heart key on this side and the rec and the club key on that side. So let me just try opening the door so it actually marks it. Yep. So then I can't do anything on this side. So we have to go back out. And yeah, we have to go over here. This upper area. And we should be able to move on further through here and open that up with the crank. So we're gonna have to go through into the right. So glad that those are blind. And uh, that way I get to save some ammo. Okay, so yeah, let's go upstairs. You're over there. So I'm pretty sure that I still have zombies that are alive over here. The one to my right. Yep. Okay, yeah. He is to my right, but he's way over there. Let's go up here. We still have to find the um what's my call the little lever or what have you. Stronger. Where am I going? It's downstairs. Son of a gun. Don't make me use ammo. Okay. Um. Second floor. Yeah, okay. That should be this. Hang on, yeah. I just went the uh, wrong, uh, wrong way. Oh, no, Mr. T. No dogs, no zombies. That up. Okay, so now we have no more use for that. So yeah, that area where the helicopter crash is likely where we're going to be uh, headed next, or have to head next. So here's the portable safe. And we got some gunpowder, so we'll be able to make more handgun ammo. But I'll hold on to that before uh, I do it, because we have uh, one gunpowder in the ammo bo in the storage box so we'll be able to make more handgun ammo but i'm hoping that i don't need to do that quite yet uh, so i can uh, uh try to make some shotgun ammo instead now i don't know if the combination here is the same as the last one and if it is, it won't matter because I'm not going to remember it. Oops. Got it now. Oops. Now what I do? Ah, what I do? That one. Yeah. These are very easy if you actually pay attention. It doesn't really matter which order you do them in. I was just pressing them in, in said order because that's just what was convenient for me, I guess you can say. Okay, we're done with that. I guess let's pick up the knife if I can. Without getting killed, let's see where that zombie's at. At least we have something. 
I don't think we have to go upstairs on it. But oh, what we can do is we can now go back to that area that had that liquor. Why are you always in the way, woman? A little run around. Yeah, so now with this other keycap, we should be able to open up all the um, lockers down here. Easy. Or not. There's only one keycap. I guess we'll put it on number two. Let me see. So 102 gives us more gunpowder. Okay. If we put it on three, we'll be able to unlock one. Yeah, we'll put it on two. We can unlock more overall. So if I put it on three, I'd be able to open up 103, and that's it. And all it has is a knife. Whatever. If I put it on two, I'll be able to get some gunpowder. And uh, some shotgun shells. So, yeah, we'll put it on two. Or rather, what two would be. That. So, if you get to pick, we'll go with number two. Open up 102. Oh. Oh. Get some uh, gunpowder. Which I won't mix yet again. I'd rather see if I can find some um, some high grade and make some shotgun ammo. So that's two eight. If I ever do need, like, if I run out of run out of these seven shots and actually need handgun ammo, I will. But I think this makes nine millimeter, right? Let me double check. This is handgun ammo. That's that's like so vague considering we have three handguns. All three of them, well, we have multiple, but for, just for argument's sake, we have three handguns that use three different type of ammos. So, just, hey, I'm gonna make handgun ammo a little generic. Likelihood is that it's 9mm, but I'm hoping it's 45. I missed it before, earlier in the playthrough. Um, but, I don't remember what it made. So now we have shotgun shells. Again, until we find the other keycap, we won't have to return here, which is good. Put that over there. Around. Just reload this puppy. Alright. Hopefully, the liquor won't bug me. And yeah, we're gonna have to go on the other. I don't know where he went. Yeah, there's an okay yeah. there and hopefully he stays over there, there. Ah, shit. oh that was a close one okay so now we're gonna have to go upstairs where the helicopter crash happened and that's where we will need to use the crank pretty sure yeah so if to unlock the other mode uh, it really is beating parkour under four hours uh, I have an hour and a half to do it, and I'm pretty sure that's not gonna happen. Yep. So the other area is blocked by the helicopter that's on fire because, again, with, when you play with Claire or maybe Aaron, I don't know which one is. We played Aaron as Claire, so I don't know if it matters if you're Claire or if it's the Aaron. You know, I, I, I can't. I haven't watched any playthroughs with Leon, so I don't know. But anyways, Mr. X, in our earlier run, uh, lifts up the helicopter. So this way is free. But with the, our Leon run here, he does not. He appears in the other side. So, yeah, he appears over here, this hallway. So, no. That area is still blocked. We can go down the fire escape, but that just doesn't leave anywhere. So, we use the crank here. That's gonna open up a new area for us that we have yet to see. I guess I can also go do the roll film. Okay, and we don't need that anymore. Okay, and yeah, this leads uh, 
over here. And we don't have the heart key. I guess we can go down there. We know that down here there might be a liquor. But we also know that the club key was there. Okay, let me... Let me do a quick one. So back here there is a board I can pick up. We're going to board up that room. That window rather. So he doesn't come breaking in. Because I think that's the only window that's actually has a zombie in that hallway. So we'll board that up. Also requires a heart key. That one requires a club key, which so far we have neither. Yep, see? High grade gunpowder. So, glad I didn't use it up. Combine it. No shells. I guess I could also try to see if I get like the large gunpowder, make more shotgun shells. I yeah, see. Would have popped out. No, he doesn't. So. Let's see, basement area. That's not quite the basement area. I guess it is, isn't it? Eh, doesn't, whatever. In any case, let's go to the floor because we need the heart key to access that. We need the heart key to access downstairs as well as um, the records room. We also need the club key for some other stuff. I guess we'll pick that up for right now. Okay, cool. cool. Alright. Some uh, Hengen Amarino. Let me go through. Storage. So we're gonna have to do the same thing with the gear and the thing. The hell off me, man. I don't remember. Yeah, there's two zombies. Okay. That one didn't get disturbed. And again, heart key. So we need the heart key for quite a few things have yet right, so we know the cog is in here and a blue herb is in there as well other blue herb so maybe okay yeah we're gonna be turning off the fire ah shit mr. X might be coming to visit us again Flashbang to distract them at least. Yeah, that pipe is still broken. Got more handgun ammo here. Oh, that's the door rattling. I thought it was the fucking. Dogs or something. So don't have a lot of room for shit. I'm gonna head in this part that. Well, there is one more window. The fuck is making all that noise, dude. I guarantee you. Okay, so that door is actually barred up in the uh, other playthrough. Now we'll, we'll pick this shit up. Who is it? Yeah, th this is gonna open up when I fucking... Oh, okay, no, it's a zombie. Alright. 
those guys are alive. They're both done. She's still not dead? Dude, come on, just stop. No, we'll fucking pull, um, what's his name? Dahlia, killer type shit. We'll just fucking chop her up. Okay, she's dead now, right? What about you? We'll eventually just cut their heads off. Alright, you're dead too. Um, so I'm just a caution. Fine. Okay, well, whatever. We used up the green herbs we found, so I'm checking here. What's in here? Oh, ink ribbon. Cool. So this should maybe lead us to a safe? Okay. No. Toilet room. Okay. What are you? Someone lose a key? Uh, no, but you know what? I'll take it. And we do have a safe area. Alright, so we can store some shit. Um, not quite, though. Gunpowder, gunpowder. Um, you know what? I will. Eh, let's store it for now. We don't need it. And we're always close to... Now that we get to save, we can always just reload if something happens. Um, yeah, we'll overwrite that one. So worst case scenario, we reload in case we die or whatever. But damn, dude, I just Leon is uh, oof. No, it's not my fault. I'm playing as Leon. It's Leon's fault. I'm you know right now I'm Leon. All right, I gotta gotta flip the the switch. So I do have a safe spot. I do have a storage room. Cool that over hopefully that maybe I oh no I can't go back this is the only way forward right the ladder broke now we have the club key but does the club key actually oh right so we can access the back area uh, of that uh, interrogation room as well as the um, I mean let me do thing real quick so we can access right here this section we can access this, this observation room area, and then we can access the records room from this door right here. That one uses the club key. I think that's pretty much it. Yeah, because that one up there uses a heart key. The library and shit, uh, we just get the lever thing. And, yeah, this one, where's that? That one uses a heart key. That one is open from the other side. And this one is only access once we get the... The lever for the jack. So... Yeah. No Mr. X. Okay, well, just in case Mr. X does come by, we'll put that. Ah, man. Okay, we'll pick up the red herb, just... Okay, Mr. X is in here. We'll draw him out, flash him. That way we can make it out of here. Peace, homie. Not that many rooms left. This should be a relatively easy walk in the park. Good thing I picked up that red herb. Okay, so we're here. Waiting room. The safe that I don't think I can quite open. Did we find anything? Let me check my documents real quick. Is there anything about the safe? 
Where's locker term? Oh. That was for the West Office, which we already opened. Yeah, I didn't find anything. Okay. Liquors in that room over there, we don't want to deal with that. Shoot, dude, I don't remember... Combination. Okay, anyways. So, where do we want to head out first? Well, we can't go to the interrogation office quest yet, so I guess we only... Oh my god, shut up. So we have to go into the... Um, what's it called? We're here in the first floor. The records room. Kind of forced to. I'm hoping there we'll find the heart key. Okay. Quite a bit of a walk, but... Now the question is, will we be able to make the run for it? Oh, shit. Well, we almost made it out unscathed. This now. Anything else in here? There's an anchor than right there. <laughs> okay. Pick up the two ribbons. And this is only a one way street. We have to go back through there. This fucking absolutely blows. Jesus! I'm fucked. Okay. So I'm probably sure I can start sprinting and the liquor would not get me back there. Dude, that's a fucking trap. Dude, that, that just sucks. Okay, anyways. I guess I'm gonna have to try to save that flashbang and just try to outrun him for a bit. So long as I can make it to the main hall and uh, then go into that little safe room nook, I am fine. Oh. Well, oh shit, that's right. I didn't flip the switch back there yet. So yeah. Um, I have to go to that room to get that lever. There's no uh, two ways about it. The problem is trying to get there without dying. So, we don't have the heart key, which I I don't think we missed it. I just don't think we have encountered it yet. So... We're gonna try to save the, uh... Flashbang. Kind of dodge him here. Okay. We are faster than him when he comes around. He comes to going around corners and shit. Come on, pick up the air. Here, run out here. Yeah, we can't do anything. Yeah, the keeps office requires the heart key. Yeah, we gotta find that heart. Probably coming back out right now. But we should be 
or, or less. You know what? Mm. I want to end her because she's just annoying in the fucking way every time. No, oh, let me check something. So if I actually go through West Office here, that's uh, too long of a way. I might not meet the liquor, but it's still a bit of a stretch if there's more zombies. So we did find. He's right over there. He's gonna see us. So what I am actually going to do now that we did all that, since we know that we're gonna be running into two more ink ribbons, I'm actually gonna save right now. Number nine. Can't come in through here. She can though. Hopefully she's dead for good. Are we gonna have to wait for him to run away? Preferably onto the left side. Once he goes in there, we will try to go to the other room. So I don't know if sprinting actually attracts him more or not, or if he just goes in there and patrols, actually patrols further. Uh, so, anyways, we're gonna have to try to make it through here. We'll always try to fight the liquor. Oh, there's two of them. I didn't even fucking notice that. If we can run out to here. So that, that fucking alerted the liquor spot. Here. And now pick up the ink ribbons. This lever here. Actually have a grenade. No safe spot. Me. Get rid of that. Fucked up knife guys. Pick up the grenade. Okay, so how am I gonna handle this? Because there's two liquors right outside. Okay. I always can do this. I can go through here into the west office. I'm slow enough to alert. Like, ooh, almost ran dead head the head, head, head ass. That's what I did. Almost head ass. And she's still alive, bruh. Alright, so now that we have that, we can go over here. Yeah, I probably want to store the fucking ink ribbon, though. So, people did say, or at least I read somewhere, or I saw it on a clip or something. 
that apparently knocking Mr. X's head off actually makes him like faster and shit. I don't know how true that is. But that's a thing, apparently, according to some people. Again, we'll wait for him to throw him away and then we'll go into the library. The, I'm I'm just waiting for one of these times where he doesn't stop and he just goes, you know what? Fuck you, I'm coming in there, and I'm making you my wife. I'm gonna go... It doesn't matter where he is, I guess he... Yeah, I guess it doesn't... It does kind of walk like he's... Seem like he's walking a bit faster. Yeah, there are certain scripted events in the game where Mr. X will come out, regardless of what you're doing, or where he was at when you, um... She's still alive. But yeah, regardless of what was going on, what you were doing, where he was at last time you left him, there are certain scripted events that will just trigger him and force him, you know, just make him spawn there. Now we can mess with this. Like, I don't know if this is one of them and he's gonna come in here. That'd be where where that zombie's at if he stays over there or actually comes after me. Come on. Blair was doing... Ugh. Leon, you're being a bit of a sissy right now. Claire was kicking your ass when it came to moving these fucking things. Is that a zombie? Oh. The, the, the fucking... You see the little... Halo effect right there? Whatever the hell you'd call it. Oh, hanging ammo. Hell yeah. Almost made it seem like it was... Uh, Almost made it seem like it was a, um, words. Um, what are those? What are words? Watch, instead of being two zombies, it's gonna be a fucking dog or some dumb shit. He's not up here, is he? Yeah, whatever, bro. Pick that up. Pick that up. Still jump down. Let's see if we can give um, good old Mr. X Daddy the run around and uh, sneak back up to the library. I don't have any more flashbang grenades or what have you. So, 
don't remember if he actually comes in the clock tower. That is something that I don't remember. It's like I don't know if he can walk over like stuff like this. We're about to find out, right? Okay, he can. He's gonna wait for me? <laughs> I was just like, you, you're gonna have to pick which way you wanna go. the clock tower. I'm hoping he can't like jump through that shit. Okay, no, he can't. I'm all the way over there. There's a green herb. We don't want to forget that. Oh yeah, I can just find these two. That in there. Down the staircase, and we know this part already. So I think he might come in here, but he just kind of comes in and looks around. I don't think he actually like starts fucking searching for me. That would suck. That would really suck. I know the zombies can, uh, if you alert the zombies when you come in here, I know they don't. Uh, at least I'm pretty sure that they, uh, they don't. You go here. Yeah, we're not making good time. We're like at fucking three hours almost. I really hope that, uh, yeah, that's a repair point. I really hope that, um, I don't have to beat the game in hardcore under four hours to unlock the bonus mode. Uh, that's gonna make me a shed cannoli. I might have to just try to beat it on my own time if that's the case. Yeah. That in there bell is gonna go ding ding dong it's gonna drop the or the clock is gonna go ding ding dong it's gonna drop the bell on the ground we're gonna be able to get that second part and now we're gonna be able to we still don't have the heart key we still got the game variation hope i don't have to write a report on this <laughs> Aren't you the funniest guy in, the, in Raccoon City? Like, get that box up. Yeah, and for all I know, in the B playthrough, he might actually fucking come in here. So I'm just gonna come back up the staircase here real quick. I think he opened the door on this side. So, should be able. Go through the other stuff. Come on. Get the zombie to come over here. Come on, quit being dumb. Okay, I need you to fucking speed that up. Right now. Yet. Uh, he did use that door, uh, but not to leave like I thought, he used it to come back in. Uh, 
shit. I'm gonna be right behind my ass because of that. room is that? <laughs> that is the art room. No, we don't care for that. So let's go back into the round room down there. And we will wait him out again. And uh, try to make it back. That uh, waiting at uh, the irrigation room. Dude, that is the most resilient fucking zombie. Come on, this is gonna be the time. He's gonna come in here. He's gonna fucking do it. In theory, I think we're gonna be done with me. Ooh. Actually, I thought he was gonna come in here. Okay, so. Hopefully he goes into the library area. Because we have to go back over to that left side there. My god, dude. I don't know how many bullets I put into this chick already. Do we have a knife in here? Thought I stored. Oh no, I discarded the knife. Boy, am I dumb. We have a fuckload of green herbs. Like, we're short on ammo this playthrough around, but one thing we're not short of is ammo. I mean, it. We're short on ammo, but one thing we're not short of is, uh... You actually did this, Lamb? Because you did that, like, three, four times with me right now. Okay. Where's Mr. X wondering to? I hope not up there, because that's where I need to go. And I really don't. I have the, uh... I have both electronic parts. I could technically just fucking leave, but I kind of want to go to the interrogation room. Hey, just go away, man. Nobody fucking asked you. Gonna go? I don't have any flashbangs or grenades either in here, I don't think. I just have gunpowder and a lot of healing items. And, uh, hello to the one person that just joined. We are now currently making our way back. The, um, to the parking garage, or rather the uh, jail cell. So we can use the electronic park, open up the jail cell, get the um, key card, and make it out of the parking garage. But right now I'm also trying to make it to the interrogation room. I don't remember what exactly was in there in the Claire playthrough. Um, pretty sure it was ammunition, but in the off chance that the heart key is in there, I really want to make it over there. He's wandering out over there. I hope he's not coming back yet. Or if he does come back, I hope it's after we make it through this door here. Sweet. Alright. We might be in the clear. I should go check the interrogation room. Oh. Not through here. Hey, okay, hold up. I went the wrong way. I went the gosh darn wrong way. Yeah, he's coming back. Ah, uh, going the wrong way. Fucking coming down these stairs? Are you oh my god. I fucking hate this guy. I'm about to fucking look up what's in the interrogation room, I swear. Ah, oh, that's the liquor! That's the liquor! Wrong door. Mr. X, I swear, you're such a huge pain in the fucking ass. Okay, 
Okay, so you know what we're gonna do? How many Encribbins we have? Three or four? I'm gonna do a save right now. Cause I don't remember how, uh, how far we were in the other save. I don't wanna have to repeat. Oh no, yeah, I don't wanna repeat the clock tower stuff. So, we'll save right now. And then what we're going to do is make a mad dash for the um, interrogation room. And if there's something that's actually worthwhile in there, we'll try to make it out. And uh, if on the other hand, it's just a bunch of bullshit, I'm just gonna, like, if it's just like four shots of the handgun, or even if it's like a couple of shots for the shotgun, I'm not gonna bother. I'm just gonna reload and say fuck it, and we'll go to the parking garage. But in the off chance that we do make it out, got my both parts here. So, wait for him to once again wander out somewhere. Okay. Try that again. This time without going the wrong way, because if we had gone the right way the first time, we might have actually gone down the stairs before he came down and saw us. Yep, we would have been able to make it, so let's go down here. Because I don't think he even comes all the way down. Yeah, he's coming down right now. Shit. I don't remember if he actually comes all the way down, and if he does, I don't think he's gonna come in this room. At least I hope not. The off chance that he does... Okay, so which one? The waiting room. That's the one that I have not been able to open up yet, right? We don't need the key anymore, okay. at right now in any case we have more gunpowder another ink ribbon I don't remember what was in here on Claire but don't have the heart key I'm gonna have to go back to that door all right so anyways let's solve this little guy here Oops. Alright. Getting better at this. And that's the other keycap, which we'll definitely try to get because uh, that's going to give us more storage space. And um, what else was it? Storage space. Yeah, that's it. The other thing was a knife. Who gives a shit? So this was definitely worth. Now, the problem is gonna be making it past the... Mr. X. Nothing else in here. Alright, room. out. I can't tell where he's at. I heard the thud. The fucking hell, bro. <laughs> the fuck is that room? Jesus Christ. Okay, so that's the press room. Holy shit, that just about gave me a fucking heart attack. I fucking hate this guy. God, I can't wait for Birkin to kick his fucking ass again. Okay, so I gotta make it up. Which, okay. Yeah, I'm down here. Uh, it, he, yeah, he just made a fucking hole in the press room. Just unlocked the fucking shortcut for me, I guess. 
Uh, but yeah, I want to make it to the safety deposit room. So, up the stairs and uh, right around and about. God damn, he fucking just... Oof! I was not expecting that one. I will say that fucking much. Oh, wait, no, we can just go through here. Look us away. God damn! No fucking fucking room! Son of a bitch! <laughs> I'm used to coming in from the other side, so the first door on the left is the one I've always taken to come back into the main hallway, and that's just what my brain is now wired to do. But unfortunately for me, now that I'm coming in from the other side, that got me twice into the room with a fucking liquor. Um, luckily for me, one of those times, I didn't get hit, but uh, this time I did. Um, let's save, since we got two more ink ribbons, and I guess that was worth it. I mean, me getting hit right there by the liquor is a bit shitty, because I could have just come in here, use one of the two green herbs I have, and just bring myself back up to fine. But anyway, so we'll save before healing up. I don't know why. That's how I did it, but that's how I did it. Throw that back in there. So we got we got good ink ribbons. We got healing items. We got we got some stuff. And we also have the um Excuse me? The code to the uh, new one. The uh, safe right here. Oh. Nope. We picked up another. Oh, we just picked it up. Oh, that's the west office. The other one. We just picked. There it is. Second floor waiting room. At 6 to 11. Yeah, and we'll wait for him to roam away. And then we're going to go for the uh, locker room and get the additional. Inventory space. Down the stairs. In a room in front of us. As soon as he walks in any of the rooms up there, I'm gonna try to get the stuff. As soon as he walks up there, I'm gonna go for the second floor waiting room, which is uh, the one... Uh, yeah, second floor. Yeah, this one right here. The one we've walked by a few times now. And we'll open up the safe. Oh, fuck, fuck, fuck! I... Jesus, man. I thought he walked upstairs. Oh. Man. Fuck off, dude. <laughs> just fuck off. But just just go somewhere, dude. Don't you, got, don't you got somewhere to be? Shit to do? People to meet? That's right. Walk away. Ah, sh okay, I'm just gonna stand here until he opens a fucking door, because that guy just fucking smells Leon. He's dead on you, fragrance, Leon. Smells like Chanel number five. Oh, I'm coming to get some of that. Leave. Let me play the game. As soon as I hear a door open, I'm gonna fuck off. I just kind of want to peek out to see which side he's going, because I don't want to go... You know, if he's going... Okay. Might be able to make it to the office. The office. Because then I have to go right where he went, actually. Um, go to the... Uh, get the inventory space. But it was two six eleven. It's two six twelve. It's eleven or twelve. I just okay. I'm retarded. What is it? That's options, not inventory. That is the second floor waiting room. So 
6 to 11. Okay. The right numbers, wrong order. Hey, what's in here? What are you? Muzzle flash? Muzzle break. Dude, enough with the Matilda parts. Like, I don't... I'm not finding any 9mm ammo. Nor am I making any. Like, is that gun really that good? We've gotten three parts already. We've gotten the extended clip. We've gotten the stock. It somehow magically gives a burst option. And, uh, we got a muzzle break for it. Reduces the recoil and muzzle rise by redirecting propellant gas up and away from the barrel. Yep. That's why, if you know anything about guns, that's kind of how it works. When you shoot a gun, you know how you see sometimes if it's a high caliber like a fireball, those are the gases being expelled, and obviously that's where the recoil comes up. This one, the muzzle break, what it does, see how it's sealed at the bottom and open at the top. When the gases release, they are forced to release upwards, moving the gun down. So it actually gives you a negative recoil. I don't know if, if that's even a correct term, but that's what it does propels the gun down so as it pops up the gas bring it back down kind of tries to reduce the recoil that sense take this out and combine it all right now we have the super fucking matilda which we'll never never use you know what just for shits and giggles i'm gonna combine these two here you go super matilda the gun looks fucking weird that, that see leon that's why nobody fucking likes you because you're using a gun nobody uses. Not standard issue for a reason. Yeah, no, I'm not even gonna see if it makes... Okay. Now we have to make it to where he came in from. Where is he at? I thought he was upstairs. Um, no. See, that's where I need to go. Because that's the shortest path to the, um... To, to, to the, uh, safety deposit room. So I, you know, I could always go to the, the reception. But that means two pissed off liquors, a bunch of zombies. It's just too convoluted of a way. So, go through the west office, pop in here. From here, walk here because there's a liquor wondering about here who's also really pissed off apparently well actually there's only two liquors right because i actually killed one uh on, as i was running away from mr x something i don't want to do again fucking running from mr x with a liquor chasing you as you turn around to take pot shots at it not a fun run wait for him to fuck off somewhere Coming down, I think. Yeah, I think he went upstairs, right? Liquors there will pop in the keycap. Yep. And then two oh three will net us more storage space. Or I should say inventory space. That's more accurate. Yeah, boy. All right. You still have no heart key, mate. That's just something you can find only with the clear. Sucks. 
Damn, that sucks. I thought I was gonna be able to make it out fine, but he was still able to nab me. Anyways, uh, we'll take one of these out. There you go. Uh, we're not 100% fine, but, you know, it is what... So, okay, we do... I am gonna take out some healing items here. Um, I have a couple of first aid spray, but... I don't want that quite... Eh, you know what, we'll take, we'll, we'll take this one out. So, now, we can go back to the parking, uh, parking garage. Go back to the, well, I guess I could have saved. Now, nah, whatever. So, if I die here, which I don't think is going to happen, uh, I'm just going to have to go back and get them uh, the inventory room expansion. But... I don't think that's gonna be the case. Back to here. And I do have the two parts with me, yes. And that way I don't have to... be a little bit more attentive through this run, I believe. Um. I, I can't jump down and then take the ladder back up? Really? Okay. Okay. Never mind. I thought I could just jump down and then climb the ladder up. I don't know why I can't. That's cool. Silly. That's cool. But, that's the case, so... Not much we can do about it, right? <clears throat> so... Now we have to come up with a different plan. The map here. So, police station. Okay, our way out of here. Boot. Which one was it? So, jail cell let us out here. Oh, how do I get back? Okay, yeah, I remember. Okay, yeah, it's that staircase right there. Go out. Oh, no, that's the dark room. It wasn't that uh the first area, yeah, over here. I go out. The watchman. Okay, yeah. I remember I'm a smart boy. No idea where he is, but I don't hear the music. So. He's actually down here. He's actually right fucking behind me. So, that was lucky. One shot actually uh, made the zombie stumble, which means we didn't have to deal with um, having to take him down. Okay, and now we are here. Where hopefully, we're not gonna see any more fucking dogs. How many? Three. Three fucking dogs. Okay, with, with Claire, I was able to dodge him relatively easily. I should be able to make a run for it. Uh, I don't think they can actually get through doors. So, yeah, I have to go all the way down to that one. The one down that we don't have to deal with three of them. Yeah, I don't think they can follow through. Yeah. 
both too soon, obviously, because I think I actually heard them coming after me. <laughs> At least I thought I heard the pitter patter of their uh, nasty little claw. And okay, he broke there. What do you think is gonna happen when I go in there to fucking grab the uh, the card? I mean, I'm assuming obviously the same shit that happened with Claire, right? He kind of just to chase you through. Has to go through there. Oh, okay. That was easy. So, of course, as I go to grab, he's gonna be like, Sup, homie? Huh? Still want the Chanel number five, dog? So we just listen to that. We don't need to. Hmm. It's praying. What's Ben's memo? The station's swarming with monsters. Even here, I can hear their cries. But it's not the zombies I'm afraid of. Code name Tyrant, the ultimate bio weapon developed by those bastards in the utmost secrecy. To think that that might that that thing might be wandering around here. Chances are they've ordered it to wipe out the witnesses. What are they after? <laughs> Shit. There's no fucking way around this bullshit, is there? You oh, oh, come on. I'm out. Of here. Okay, so Okay, we're just gonna fucking die here. Nope, 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 okay. Oh my fucking god. Mr. T likes to punch his fucking way through everything. Yeah, we're fucked. We're big time fucked. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Did he just bite that out of me? Holy shit. Just fucking grabbed my intestines. Okay, so. <clears throat> We're gonna try this again. Okay. So, heal up. That's something we're gonna try to run uh, through the. Uh, We're gonna try to run through the part with the dogs, try not to even waste ammo. But 
But I don't see, like, that's a lot of fucking zombies. Like, if I had a grenade or a flashbang or something, that would be fucking awesome. But I don't, because I've wasted them. Oh man, like, that would be so great, using a fucking grenade in that crowd of zombies. Oh man. But yeah, um... I can try... to get... Mr. T to, uh... rush through. That would work as well. Since he pushes shit out of the way. Like, if you've ever seen Mr. T, and I think you've, uh, it happened a couple of times in my first playthrough with Claire, that, uh, whatchamacallit, he just kind of punches zombies out of the fucking way. Just went through where I need to go. So unfortunately, we're gonna have to wait for him to come out of there and go somewhere else. I can go get my increased inventory space there. Yeah, if I'm supposed to beat the game in under four hours uh, to unlock the uh, bonus mode, that's definitely not happening this run through. Come on, Mr. X. Don't worry, just take your time, buddy. Take your time. See, I thought I had one shot. What did I use? Oof, oof. Come on. Like stereo sound, you you can enable in the options like you know to the, like the, it's like a virtual surround sound. I don't remember what they call it, but when you have only stereo headphones, I need to patch up my time mats. The time mats are supposed to be true surround sound. They actually have multiple drivers in the cups as opposed to just two drivers like most headphones, uh, like these ones, probably what you guys are wearing. Um, and it just makes it hard because if I'm facing this way and he's over there, the sound comes from this side. Yes, he's on the right. But if I turn this way, the sound that comes from the left, but he's still over there. So it's it, it can make the sound a little confusing. I'm being... Opened up a doorway, but I don't care. Be able to make. the knife out too. Might help in that situation. We get the first aid spray but let me get this shit over here My way over there uh, get the mixed herbs um, forget that what that roll of film might actually I, I thought he would go around on the, in the hallway, not actually through the room. 
We're gonna have to wait for him to fuck off somewhere else again. How many ink ribbons do we actually have? That way I can save and not just have to repeat this. Okay, we got three ink ribbons. I think I can afford an additional save here. Bit of a waste to save, like, this close to each other, but it is what it is. So 12 saves in the police stations with Claire, and I ended up doing the same thing with Leon. So we're probably not getting much of a higher score than a C. Again, because time estimate is roughly the same, pretty sure. Trying to figure out where he's at. to not alert that zombie over there. <laughs> Didn't want to use it on this guy yet. Last time I used a handgun shot, this time I used a shotgun bullet. Oh, that's what I used it on, the fucking dogs. Okay. But we know there's gonna be dogs. Let's see if we can just make it through. Do have both puzzle pieces, yes. They're relatively easy to dodge. Should be okay. I think they're more of a threat if you're still, and in most areas where they have actually put the dogs, it's areas where you can actually just, uh, what's actually down there? Anyways, it's an area that's blocked. I guess I could technically kill the zombies now, uh, but anyways, these pieces back in. Actually pick it up. Can you imagine just what fucking leaving like that without picking that up? Okay. So that door should actually now be open. No, that was wrong. actually comes through that door until you physically walk up to it.
what I can do, which I haven't done because I thought it was going to power up the gates, um, what I can actually do... We all know you're gonna turn around while there you go. That a good boy. Oh. I already did the same thing. Store this. So, what's actually... Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna try pulling that lever and see what happens. If it, because uh, the gates only get opened up from the power panel, so that lever should actually open up the doors, go around the outside. Uh, not sure where he went. Doesn't matter. Once I entered that area over there. still be able to do it. I'm gonna try it. Why the fuck is there an extra zombie wandering about there? Doesn't seem like he chases in here because he's going to be appearing anyways. So we're gonna run through. Once again, hopefully we don't get hit by the dogs. They're relatively easy to dodge. Don't waste time. Gonna do a little serpentine. Run type shit. Come through. I don't even think they can open doors. So liquors and dogs cannot open doors. At least liquors for sure they can't. Okay, so okay here. What does pulling this do? Okay, it might actually do nothing until this is powered up. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Because when we passed by, it had the green light. Okay. So that's gonna be our way around. It's so steep. It's such an obvious way to get out, and yet I missed it. In any case, that's that. Go. Oh. All right. Nope. All right, it's like that. I always fucking turn the wrong one. The the two that I. One I turn vertical, one I turn horizontal, and they're the opposite ones. That there. This up. Skip that, skip that. Pick that up. And, uh. Yeah. What are they after? That's not good. Cool. That's powered. Those are gonna be in there. Technically, this might open up this side now. Okay, cool. Give me a break! Alright. There might be even some items in there. I can't say I care to fucking take it off right now. Come on. Come on. Dogs. Oh, come on, dude. He's like, what's up, homie? Thought I couldn't get you? Oh, Ada Wong to the rescue. That's like straight Terminator shit right there. That, that's... I am like 100%... Yeah, 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 that's in uh, Terminator 3. Where, uh, the... I forgot her name, the female friend of uh, John Connor, 
She fucking drives the. Oh, no, score. it's Arnold. My bad. This isn't it's a Arnold. She's got like the big fucking uh, bull runner looking Nothing shit, like the pickup truck. Here. And he just fucking rams the female Terminator. D1100. I forget what she is. Yeah, she just he just rams her right through the fucking wall with the with his big ass truck yeah. to save Connor. And this. This scene is like straight from that. I was hoping you could explain what's on it. Maybe. After I hear it, let's get out of here. You know, I just noticed Leon has a fucking RPD badge in there, yet I had to find- I mean, I guess maybe the stars one special or whatever when it comes to the key code or as the, the USB thing. I just thought about it, I was like, you could- I mean, you know, even if I can't use the one he has for the USB dongle, you should still be able to have used it to open up the other one. So I'm gonna shut up right now. Listen to this. You for me as well. So picking up the one knife actually saved our fucking ass. Is that the intel you needed? Unfortunately, no. Ben didn't come through. Well, what exactly are you looking for? More info on the people responsible for this mess. What about you? Trying to save the world? Yeah, well, someone's got to get word to the authorities. We need reinforcements to save this city. Unshop Kendo. Okay, so it's clear you actually go through that gate right there. There's a couple of zombies that, that bust the, like uh, the door way. out. But with Eon, I guess we're going through the gun shop. You'd think I'd find some ammo in here. And if I don't, I'm going to be upset. Got you back, Ada. What a mess. So if, oh, what is that? Oh, yes. It's gonna increase the, uh, holy shit, dude. You know, I don't know any gun shop in the United States that sells fucking hand grenades. Maybe I'm wrong. Hey, there's plenty. At least not here in California. And the California has all sorts of shit laws, but that's for something else. That's, leave the political talk out of it. Anyhow. A uh, custom part for the W870 that ups its max capacity to 8. Greater muzzle velocity and less spread makes each shot extra powerful. Yeah. So, I will definitely... Oh, and that just gave us 4 shots. That's sweet. So, I'll definitely use up the extra inventory space for this. I don't care. I don't need that looks now. Look at that. Long boy. What are you looking for? Whatever. But yeah, so if you remember in the original Resident Evil 2, I'm not gonna hurt you. This I happens right off the start move. with uh, Leon. Just passing through. I'm gonna ask you to lower that weapon. I kill you on. And clear both. Yeah, I turn around. Go right back out the way you came in. I think your daughter needs help, sir. Don't tell me how to deal with my daughter. Drop it. No! Wait! Step aside. We need to terminate her before she turns. Terminate. It's my he's he's gonna daughter. die from his daughter, isn't he? Ada. Just let them be. Emma? Sweetheart, I told you to stay put. You no, know, I don't think in that uh, in her state she's gonna be able to answer or uh, do much. Listen. He's gonna pick her up, she's gonna bite him. <laughs> what they did to us. You're a cop. You're supposed to know something. How did this happen? Huh? She was our sweet little angel. 
Mommy. Yeah, she's dead, I think. Probably. I'm sleeping, honey. Okay. And I'm gonna put you to bed too, okay? Oof. Emma. Good night. Privacy. Ben, the original Resident Evil 2, the the Kendo gun shop is kind of like the first area you run into. I don't remember if it's either with Claire or Leon. No. Doesn't matter who you start one with, thing to keep the or truth if it's from just me. one or the other. But why him? Huh? She went to sleep. I want to find out what's happening here and stop whoever's behind it. We're probably gonna hear a second gunshot. Helping people like them? That's why I joined the force. I was so ho I was not hoping, but I was expecting a second gunshot. My mission is to take down Umbrella's entire operation. Man, the original Resident Evil, this is the first kind of air you run Everyone into after dodging city. all the zombies after the truck crashes me. into the squad car. And uh, yeah, that's actually where you get the crossbow. So, I don't think there's anything else here. Let me double check. Just here. We found the attachment for the shotgun. Got some ammo. And, and a grenade. Right, yeah, that looks like it. What about you? Heard of the Umbrella Corporation? They're a pharmaceutical company secretly making bioweapons. They have a virus. It turns people into indestructible monsters. That explains the horrible things I've seen. <laughs> he sounds so fucking young. Like, he just sounds so naive in this game. Like, Leo's always looked a little emo-ish with his haircut and stuff, and but whatever. But he sounded like, you know, like a grown-ass man. He's just like, oh, that explains the terrible things down. I've seen. Right, so this is how we are gonna enter the sewers, as opposed to how Claire got into them. This is how we get to Annette. Based on what you've said, the sewer seems fitting. Hmm. Well said. She's trash! For you. Gee, thanks. Thought it was ladies first. Can't imagine a real scientist being down here. According to HQ, this leads right into Umbrella's yeah. secret facility. Come on. Sewers are run by the city. How could they have a facility without the authorities knowing? Welcome to corporate America. Hmm. Umbrella's controlled Raccoon City for years. Umbrella's got a lot of money. That means a lot. They can corrupt a lot of uh, people in high places. They do whatever Jesus. they want. That an earthquake? I sure as hell hope so. Okay, this is probably when, uh, would clear when you run into the bird. Oh, the no. Hell? Never mind. That's the big bad crocodile we're gonna have to fight. Alright. So, before we continue on, I think this is as good a point as any. We are in our typical two hours and a half in. So, as always, I'm going to end it here. Stuff to do, things to see, people to meet before work. If you want to tune in for a longer stream. If you want to tune in for a longer stream, as always, I'm in on Friday. Fridays, I generally go for three, four hours. 
I might go even longer depending on what's going on in my life. But uh, on weekdays like this, unfortunately, I do have I do work night shift. My stream does end around 8:30, 9-ish, almost um, Pacific. So that gives me about an hour, an hour and a half to get my stuff together and then head on out, uh, eat, do whatever. So short streams on Mondays and Wednesdays, longer streams on Fridays because the weekend got shit to do. Um, yeah, I am considering adding an additional day, whether it's uh, during the week or during the weekend. Uh, maybe play some multiplayer games or maybe just play some other stuff like I mentioned in the description on one of my panels I I love horror games that's just what I generally play overall anyways uh, most of the games I own most of the games I play hell even the fucking movies I watch it's all horror I just I love the genre um but yeah so games like Resident Evil even games that are like horror ish not quite like devil may cry i guess you could throw it in the horror category uh, but yeah you know stuff like that is pretty much what i play but uh even multiplayer games i play like dead by daylight uh that's something i enjoy playing um but i haven't streamed uh so i i, I do want to play some multiplayer games i don't just play by myself i got friends i generally play with dead by daylight and apex that just came out was it yesterday the day before that a couple days ago hmm. i played a, a round or two and it is a badass game it's fun as shit if you guys never played it and haven't heard of it or whatever uh download the origin uh launcher for ea and download apex it's free to play and it's quite fun if you enjoyed the um it's called battle arena or uh battlegrounds whatever the, the the battle arena type games you know like PUBG, Fortnite, etc etc uh the call of duty one uh, yeah try out apex it's fucking fun well anyways uh we made the decent progress i was hoping i'd be able to get to this point quicker and a bit smoother than i did with claire obviously still rough but we got plenty of healing items many more than we did with claire we got some gunpowder stored up so when we find the higher quality one we can make shotgun shells, uh, but yeah, the only thing we're short on is uh, ammo. Uh, we're still okay as far as uh, moving through it is, but uh, yeah, sewer part coming up next, and you know what's after the sewer? That's the umbrella facility. Uh, let's see if I can knock that out this Friday, so yeah, tune on in then if you're watching this on YouTube. Well, that's gonna be a too late <laughs> uh, so the the final part will probably be up by the time this is up but yeah um, hope you guys enjoyed the stream hope you guys enjoyed the video for not watching the stream and that said cannoli signing out